Estoy en la 2. En la 2. Hello, 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 guys. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, How are you? Fine. Excellent. Nice. So, thank you for your punctuality. Today, I'm going to tell you something, but later. Ya le voy a decir algo, pero voy a poner que se conecten un par más para poder decirles. Está lloviendo en todas partes. Is it raining? Aquí no hubo días que no a llover. Aquí no está raining. Acá no hubo días. Aquí no está raining. Yeah, the, the weather, guys. The weather these days is really crazy. Ya no es como la época de antes, ¿verdad? Que se te, era bien marcado, lluvia, el viento y todo. Ahora. Otras tornadas. Exactly. It goes so weird. So, 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 so weird. Y los But, temblores que están bien seguidos. What is it? Los temblores. Oh, como yeah. Yes, here it has uh, like a lot of uh, earthquakes. But yeah. yes, also that, that thing. So today I'm feeling like, um, like sick. I feel a little bit sick today. So I don't know. I think it's for the weather because of the weather too. Let me see. Wait a second. I'm looking for something here. Okay, let's start with the attendance for today. So I appreciate your punctuality. Remember for the attendance, you have to have the cameras on it's, and say present or say I'm here, okay? Um, <clears throat> wait a second. Here it is. Menos mal que no nos vemos, Kai, porque si ustedes me pudieran oler ahorita, tengo olor a Vic fuerte. <ríe> It's strong. Bien. Ana Gladys Moraga Rodríguez. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Okay. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. Hazel Ruth Mera Rivera. I'm here. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. Okay. Um, José Arnoldo Corea Jovel. Carla Patricia Pineda López. Katia Gabriela Hernández García. I'm here. Genia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. I'm here. Excellent. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Sonia Yanet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Celaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Ivette Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Judy Araceli Guayard Hernández. Judy. I'm here. Excellent. Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. I'm here. And Luisa Donaya Aguilar Merino. This not here. Um, Judy, you're going to stay with me today, right?
Okay, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I think uh, there's a delay in the audio. Anyways, okay, guys. So we're going to start. Remember the topics we have been discussing in the last class? For example, um, have to for obligations, can for abilities or possibility, like the ones that we were doing yesterday, the abilities you can mention with can, and so on. <clears throat> Miren, le voy a pedir un favor enorme. En el día de hoy amanecí, menos mal, ya no estoy así. Amanecí con una, o sea, afónica, afónica. No, no, no podía hablar, no sé por qué. No es COVID. Cambio de clima. Yo creo que es el cambio de clima. Definitivamente creo que es el cambio de clima. Entonces, eh, le voy a pedir de su ayuda para la clase, ¿verdad? Siempre que pongamos atención y me ayuden con las actividades que les voy a dejar que van a ser más comunicativas con ustedes. Casi siempre es así, ¿verdad? Que ustedes tienen que hacer. Porque yo no creo que el docente tiene que estar hablando dos horas completas y ustedes no. Si estamos learning English, right? So you have to practice. Anyways. I'm going to be asking your comprehension in this case. Okay. Let's start with the class. We are, oh, I don't know, yesterday I went in the platform and I saw that some people are comment, commenting in the, in, the, in the discussions, but some people I saw, let me check, I'm gonna check right now. I have a sore throat. Okay, so in the, in the first one, I'm gonna show you, let me. Let me share my screen with you so you can see what I'm seeing. Okay, so this, this one, here I cannot add a topic, so there is no discussion. But here in the number two, video conference number two, have four obligations. Yes, there's one, you see? There's one. And I told you uh, to do this exercise in the class, so you can do it again here again. Then we have the number three, que como lo publicaron hoy no había agregado discusión, pero ya voy a agregar. So I'm going to add a discussion there and you have to leave your comment down below here. So when we finish the class, you're going to have this one. Okay, so I need you to be working in the, in the, in the discussions. Also, I need you to be working on the platform. Remember that tomorrow I'm going to send the report for the first week okay so tomorrow you have to complete the first week También le duele la garganta como a mí. Oye, la tarea, ya voy en la, ya hice la tarea dos hoy. Yeah. La dos, tarea ok. Eh, hay que terminar antes, o sea, para mañana hay que terminar las cinco, ¿verdad? Las cinco tareas. Yes. So Yo voy have... por la nueve, pero ahí me trabé. Ah, ah, ahí me trabé, ahí, ahí, igual con ella estábamos ahí. Que oh, está por la sección quedar. dos, section number two. Sí. Oh, ok, ok. Uh -huh. En la 9 de la 2, ¿hay problemas ahí? ¿Por qué? Sí, ¿Por en qué? realidad ahí, ahí no comprendí bien qué era lo que se tenía que hacer, la verdad. Déjenme ver, a ver si les puedo ayudar con eso. I finished the, the number two and I, I didn't have problem. The section number two or the homework number two? The homework number two. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. So you're telling me, me dicen tarea ocho o tarea nueve, guys? Tarea nueve. Okay, okay, okay. How to use, will do like, okay, tarea nueve. It says, instructions. <clears throat> Unscramble the following sentences. Remember capital letters and periods. Change ID school. Oh, yes. So what you have to do, the words here, for example, are not in the correct order. What you have to do is to place the words in the correct order. For example, here is telling you that the first word needs to be I, the subject. Then... 
I'm gonna explain this topic later on, but it's wool. Wool. Then the verb. What is the verb of this sentence? What do you think? In here, what is the verb? Change. Change. It's change. I will. I will. I will change this product. I will. We wouldn't. This day. Esperen un segundo porque no sé si le van a tener que agregar like or not. Let me see. No, I will change you. this product. Oh, yes, it's I will change this product. It's like that. Okay. So I will change this product. Ah, me saco. Wait a second. Ah, uh, here we are. So, yes, I is the first will change this product. Let's check. So, let's see, let's see here. You see, it's correct. So, the only thing that you have to do is to place the words in the correct order. Okay? Okay, thank you. Thank I have you. a question. Mm -hmm. Tell me. What what homework we have to finish? Ah, for this okay. Week? For this week, you have to finish homework one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Pero les estaba explicando, lo voy a decir en español, les estaba explicando esas a ellas porque usualmente yo les eh, motivo, I encourage you, um, que terminen antes, antes la plataforma. Entonces la plataforma, si ustedes la terminan, si van bien adelante, nunca va a haber problema. El problema es que vayan como bien atrás, perdón, en las la clases. Pero si van antes y termina la plataforma antes, uh -huh. eso es mejor porque así ya solo le toca completar asistencia y no tiene que estar pensando en la plataforma. Ok. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yes, for this week you have to complete uh, like it's an obligation to complete number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And tomorrow I'm gonna check your um your grades and I'm gonna send the first report to Insafor. Cada viernes, each Friday, we send a report to Insafor. So it's important that for tomorrow you have complete all the um, homeworks, the first five homeworks. Any more questions? No teacher. Excellent, that's the attitude. No teacher. Okay, let me show. Okay, so this is the class for today. Can you help me read in the date, please? Mm, Stephanie. Thursday, November 18, 2021. Excellent. Can you repeat the number? Monday. Can you repeat this number? Me <laughs> equivoqué. No, solo repite ese number. Yes, it's correct, pero recuerde que con el TH sonaría como 18th, 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 18th. yes, it's 18th. important. Mm -hmm. um, Rafael, would okay. you mind helping me with the topic for today, please? Video conferencia number four, how to use Excellent, how to use be going to. We're gonna be talking about the future in this conference. But first, we're gonna practice the topic we saw yesterday. Do you remember yesterday's topic? Ah, no. Before yesterday was can and cannot. Can and cannot. So, and when do we use can to talk about responsibilities? To talk about obligations. Yes, uh, uh, I can use. <laughs> I use can when when I have uh, when I when I uh, when I want to say some ability. 
abilities. I can play soccer, I can swim. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, like can, can, we have the verb can to talk about abilities. That's what we express with can, abilities. So for example, in my case, I can give a really good example. I can speak English because that's the language that I'm speaking. And I can speak Spanish. Aunque a veces el español no sale bien raro, ¿verdad, guy? But yes, it's I can. Now, taking back the topic, we're going to practice a tongue twist. Rafael, I'm sorry. Sí, eh, quizás no voy a ir muy atrás, pero en el momento del how, for obligation, en ese tema, en la forma negativa, cuando se usa de la tercera persona, eh, no cambia el verbo a has. Por ejemplo, si doesn't has to use. No. 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 Eh, the verb needs to be in the base form. So she doesn't uh -huh. have. Have. And Lo here is usted... the deal. Uh -huh. Because the auxiliary uh -huh. doesn't has the third person. Este es en el libro, en el manual, en la página de otro, sí lo cambia. En, en la forma negativa. En el manual, en la página 12. Yes. ¿En la conversación o dónde? No, en el cuadrito, donde está el tema. In the examples. Wow, I didn't see that. Doesn't has to. Wow. Yeah, I know. I don't know what happened here. That is not correct. Solo que a mí me ha engañado todos estos años. Doesn't has. Why is doesn't have correct? with the pronunci instead of doesn't has is not correct yes so it's mistaken guys so tal vez querían ver si ustedes encontraban el error thank you for the observation it's always important this is not correct and this is not correct so if you have an auxiliary that already has the third person you're not gonna change, you're gonna change the verb to the base form. You're not gonna use has. So for example, the correct form of saying he doesn't has to use the lift. We're gonna say he doesn't have to use the lift like this, okay? That is the correct form. As the other example up here that says, the truck driver doesn't has to bring the material. So we're gonna say the truck driver don't. I, I mean, 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 the truck driver doesn't have, doesn't have to bring the material. So this verb is gonna change and it's gonna be have, okay? Okay. Excellent. Okay. No, thank you, um, Rafael, for mentioning that. I didn't know that. And it's good that you mentioned it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue here. So we're going to do, I, I was telling you, <clears throat> we're going to do pronunciation. And here we have a tongue twister. Did you know that can has two meanings? Pay attention to this. Because if you don't pay attention, you're going to be like, what, teacher, what? Okay, so can has two meanings. As a verb, it's a possibility, can. And as a noun, is this, a can. A can of soda, a can of soup, a can of soda, soup, I don't know, a can. Do you understand? So we have two meanings for can. The first one is a verb express a post, I mean, an ability, and as a noun, it's a can. For example, where it comes to Coca-Cola, a can of Coca-Cola, 
it's a can, okay? And it's, the writing, it's the same. The pronunciation, the same. Si entendieron lo que dije. No, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, Jose, can you explain what is the meaning of can? Uh, una posibilidad. Habilidad. Eh, habilidad. Es. ¿Y qué más? Y la lata. Ajá, exactly. Thank you. Eso tiene dos significados, guys. Ken como verbo es habilidad y Ken como nombre es lata. Como una lata de soda. A Ken of soda. Ok. That's why it's here. So now, that's why we're doing this tongue twister. How many, do you remember? Ya vimos esto de how many. How many cans, how many cans can the canner, how many cans can the canner, el atero, can, if the canner can, can, cans. <laughs> so you're going to say a lot of can right now. How many cans can the canner can, if the canner can, can, cans. How many cans can the canner can, if the canner canner can, can, cans. Tan, 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 something like that sounds. How many cans can the canner can, if the canner can, can, cans. But pay attention to it. How many cans can the canner can, if the canner can, can, cans. Teacher, ¿cuál, ¿cómo sería ah, eh, una traducción al español? Porque no me pierdo en las palabras. A ver, traducción lógica no hay. Lo que le voy a decir no va a tener nada de sentido. ¿Ok? ¿Cuántas latas puede un latero poder? Y si el latero puede poder poder las latas. Te lo voy a confiar. Así lo había traducido yo. Yes, exactly. Doesn't make okay. sense. Doesn't make okay, sense. No. Okay, thank no. you. How many cans can How many cans can the canner can if the canner can 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 Yes, take a screenshot if you can, because I'm going to send you to the break of rooms to practice. Una pregunta, ¿se escucha mucho ruido de, de fondo? No. No. No, no teacher. No, teacher. Okay, I'm going to send you to practice. Let's go to practice. Sara, Judy.
can, can, cans. How many cans can the canner can if the canner can? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans? Can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can uh, canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can can cans? How many cans can the canner can if the canner can? How many can can the canner? Can is the canner can can can. How many cans can the can? How many? Judy tiene problemas con el inter, teacher. Who has problems with the inter? Who okay. has problems with the internet? How many cans can the canner can? Uh, she is out, out in, ¿cómo se dice saliendo? Saliendo y entrando. She's o out, sea, she is in and out. Who, but who is she? Who is she? Y es, uh, ¿cómo que se llama la compañera que está saliendo? Judy. Oh, Judy. Judy, ok, ok. Hola, hola. Hoy sí. <laughs> ok, voy por. Dele. How, how, how many cans can the canner can? No. How many cans can the canner? No, Lo como, siento, como... sí, de por sí es pésima mi señal, pero ahora no sé por qué está peor.
Hello. So now we know very clear the pronunciation of Ken. Now it's important for you to understand the negative form of Ken. So for the negative form of Ken, you're going to say Kent. You see, Ken is affirmative. So basically, Ken. Miren cómo finaliza. Es muy importante para la fonética. I'm going to say this in Spanish. Es muy importante para la fonética que imiten cómo quedan las posiciones de la boca al pronunciar. Entonces, por ejemplo, la afirmativa sería Ken. Ken. You see? Ken. The negative will be Kent. Kent. T. Ese aire que sale ahí del negativo. Kent. You see, my mouth, it's different. Affirmative, can. Negative, can't. Can, can't. Can, can't. Okay? It's very important that you know the difference. So, for example, I can speak English, but I can't speak French. I can. I can drive a car, but I can't ride a motorcycle. I can swim, but I can't play tennis. You see, there in every example, I'm using an affirmative and I'm using a negative. I repeat, I can speak English, but I can't speak French. I can swim but I can't play tennis. I can drive a car, but I can't ride a motorcycle. I want you to send me to the chat two examples like this, okay? Two examples, no, 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 two examples, no. That's too much, one example, just one example like that. You give me an affirmative statement and then you give me a negative statement. I'm gonna give you the example so you're going to give me one sentence with two examples. So, for example, I can speak English, but I can't speak French like that. So you're going to send me an example like this one, pero que sea real para ustedes. An example like this one that is real for you, okay? Do you understand the activity, guys? Yes, teacher. Tomás says yes. I think. Yes. Yes. Teacher. Okay. The other ones, yes. Okay. Excellent. Send the example then. I'm going to share my screen so you have the example. están escuchando, verdad que se escucha oh my god yo les dije, no pongan tan fuerte la tele sí, ahorita sí se escucha bien ok, sorry
Ok, guys, it will be very important que tenga sentido su oración, que la primera tenga sentido con la anterior. Como por ejemplo, estoy hablando de deportes. Yo puedo eh, nadar, pero no puedo jugar tenis. No tiene sentido si yo hago así como, este, yo puedo hablar, pero no puedo viajar. Eso no tiene sentido. Right? That doesn't make sense. Entendemos que la oración makes sense. <clears throat> This is very interesting, Jose. You can cook lasagna, but you cannot cook rice. Huh? Really? Jose. Jose. Yes. <laughs> But rice is easier to cook. No. Yes, you only cook the, the things and then you fry the rice and then you put water and that's it. Uh, the water is the, the part. I can't. <laughs> What? Okay, that's interesting. Okay. A mí no me da caso, se me quema el agua. Es que, es que, es que a uno le dicen, ah, es que echarle y calcular qué quiere decir. Entonces, ah, ese calcular qué quiere decir es como ah, que. Mm. <laughs> usted necesita es, este, recetas específicas. Sí. <laughs> ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, aquí en el no Salvadoreño es todo no el calcular. No es calcular por una taza de arroz, dos tazas de agua. Ah, ok, perfecto. You see? Yo, no, hombre, yo pongo a freír arroz y luego, incluso le doy vuelta así, a saber cuánto le eché y después me quedo viendo el agua. Agarro agua y luego, se va. Eso, eso, justo eso. <ríe> like, exactly, that's what I do. Pero mire, aquí está la técnica. Thank you, Kenia. Okay. <laughs> the instructions are in the rice. Oh yeah, I in think <laughs> in the packet, in the package. Yes, I I did. Perfect. Okay, now that we have the examples, I want you to go and say the examples. We're gonna do a breakout room like easy, like this. And remember, for the affirmative, you're gonna say, I can. And for the negative, you're gonna say, I can't. I can, I can't. ¿Me comprenden lo que van a hacer? ¿Van a ir a decir esa oración? In the breakout rooms, now is pronunciation practice. Si usted escucha que su compañero no dice bien can or can't, Help them, help them to practice, okay? It's gonna be really quick. Really, 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 really quick. Let me see. Mm -hmm. There you go. I send you the invites.
loudly. Loudly. But I cannot, no, I can't, but I can't write novels. Do you understand? Repeat them. I can speak loudly, but I can't write novels. Va, a ver si lo entiendo. Usted puede hablar despacio. Fuerte. O, o fuerte, puede poderoso. escribir despacio. Eso es. Yo puedo hablar fuerte. Gritón. Lo, ah, pero uh -huh. No puedo escribir novelas. Novelas. Ajá. Lo, uh -huh, pero no puedo escribir novelas. No soy muy bueno escribiendo ah. historias. Puedo manejar chiquetas, pero las estándar. No ah, las, las automáticas. No puedo por... las... <risa> ah, ok, yes, ok. ¿Quién más nos falta? José. José, José Hernando. Oh, yo puse, I can cook lasaña, but I can't cook rice. Puede cocinar lasaña y no puede cocinar. Yo no puedo cocinar arroz, ya somos otros. Sí, ya más, 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 me sale que me confunden de que es diferente el precocido y el burrito. Yo el precocido lo hago Ay, perfecto. Precocido. Es el más fácil. Sí, very easy, very easy. El blanco no hice, no hice. Se le pasa la medida del agua. Sí, mucha agua. <laughs> okay, other time. I can not. Boy, I can understand English, but I can't. Understand Chinese. Mm -hmm. uh, I can play soccer, but I can't play tennis. Hello, Carla. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. How are you? 
Ah, uh, so so teacher. Why so so? Because I work today. Uh, ah. My coworker have a emergency. So and that's why you're late. Yes. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I understand. Very good. But you're in class now. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going for the classmates. Okay, guys, I think it's not so confusing anymore. You can use can for affirmative and can't for negative. Let's do some other exercises, like the ones we were doing yesterday. Okay, horses, horses, it will be can swim or can't swim? Can't swim. Can't. Can't. Can't go to Correct. But they can. But they can. Can. But they can run fast. Dogs. Can. 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 Can in a pond. Can. But they can. 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 Can't. They right. can't. A Spin. rabbit play chess. Chess is can. ajedrez. Can't. 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 But eat. Can. 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 Carrot. Can. Carrot. What is carrot. carrot? What is carrot? Sanoria. Yes. <laughs> Turtles. Walk slowly. Can. 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 But they can't. 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 Cows eat grass. Grass is pasto. Can. Can. But they can't. Can't. Can't ride a bike. Okay, so now help me with the pronunciation. So I'm gonna choose some people to help me with pronunciations. Let's read the first sentence, please. Hazel, the number six. Okay, number six, horse can swim, but they can run fast. Run fast, thank you. Run fast. Let's go with Dicey. Number seven. Dogs can eat a bone, but they can speak. Can you repeat this? Can. Can't. 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 Yes, better. Uh, Rafael, can you read number eight? A right can play chess, but it can eat carrot. Chess. Chess. Yeah. Can you read number A9, please, Stephanie? No puedo pronunciar tortuga. Turtles. You can say turtles, 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 say turtles, like with turtles, turtles. but it's turtles, turtles, <laughs> turtles, okay, no lo puedo pronunciar, vaya, repita conmigo, turtles, can, can. why, turtles, can, 
walk. Walk slowly, but they can't jump. Excellent. Thank you very much. And help me, Kenya, with it. Number 10. Cows can eat grass, but they can ride a bike. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's go with the... Attendance, okay. So I'm gonna read the attendance for you. Wait a second. Ana Gladys Moraga Rodriguez. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Perez. I'm here. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Guys, siempre se escucha la tele de fondo bastante. No, te Ahorita no mucho. Pero okay. si sí se escucha. Yo no la escucho. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ok, um, Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. Um, Hazel Ruth Melada Rivera. I'm here. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. Ven que les dije que había un fenómeno que jueves y viernes varios no se querían conectar. Yo les dije. José Arnoldo Corea Jovel. I'm here. Katia Gabriela Hernández García. I'm here. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. I am here. Luis Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Magdalena. Sure, Carla, me oh, Carla, Carla, I'm sorry. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Ok. Um, Magdalena Escalante Orantes. I'm here, teacher. Maricela Carmen Velázquez Díaz. I'm here, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barriento Chinchilla. Present, teacher. Rina Aura Espinosa de Cuña. I'm here. Ok. Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Sonia Yernet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Celaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Ivette Ramírez Castillo. I'm here. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. I'm here. Luisa Donay Aguilar Merino. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Now let's go with the new topic. Wait a second. Guys, si se vuelve a escuchar la tele así fuerte, me dicen, please. Okay, let me see here. Now we're going to talk about going to. So going to is used to talk about the future. So we're going to use going to plus the verb we want to say in the future. And the going to, it's always going to be with subject, then the verb to be according to the subject. And going to plus the verb we're going to be using. And the going to, we're going to pronounce it as gonna, okay, gonna. Now, let me, um, so for example, you say, you have here, I am going to work. I'm going to work. That means in Spanish, voy a trabajar. This is something that we're going to talk about in the future. It's like, yo voy a hacer esto, yo voy a ir, yo voy a jugar, yo voy a, that's what it's going to be, going to, or gonna. Let me here explain this. So, for example, we need a subject, we need the verb be, then we need the verb with the ing. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eso es el otro. Hey, hey. This is going to, going to. Then we need the verb. Y el verbo va a ir en su forma base form, ¿ok? Base form. No lo va a modificar. Base form. Plus complement. ¿Ok? Ok, now we're going to use a subject. For example, you. What is the verb to be for you, guys? 
You are. Exactly. So we're going to use you are, and then we're going to add going to, always going to, and then a verb. We, you are going to learn. What are you going to learn? <clears throat> English. Okay. You are going to learn English. You are going to learn English. Let's do something else. I. What is the verb to be for I? Um, um. So I'm going to teach you English. Yo voy a enseñarles inglés. I'm going to teach you English. Like that. Rafael, sorry. Um, me recuerdo que en la unidad anterior vimos algo del cual tú. Correct. Es, existe alguna diferencia porque me recuerdo que casi igual es. Este es repaso, básicamente. El yeah. going to siempre se va a utilizar para el futuro. Incluso en el anterior les decía que the pronunciation of going to is. Gonna. Gonna. gonna correct. Gonna. So you're, uh -huh. you're, you're going to read this like you're going to learn English. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you English. Okay. So this is for writing. You can say it in the pronunciation, but it's better if you say gonna. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now I want you to send me two affirmative statements about something that you're going to do tomorrow. Now send me to the chat two affirmative statements about something you're going to do tomorrow. Do you understand the activity? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. And send it to the private chat. Just in inglés corporativo. Can you repeat, teacher, please? Two activities you're going to do tomorrow using this structure. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Pero mande juntos los examples, no los manden uno por uno, please, juntos. Si no lo pueden separar con un enter, sepárenlo con un punto, con un guión, pero no los manden un example y después otro, no. ¿Va a hacer el estante o va a colocar el estante, José? A hacerlo. Okay. No creo que me hace tiempo para ponerlo mañana. Shelf. Yes, it's shelf. Ok, thank you. Really, Rafael, are you going to fly to Guatemala tomorrow? 
No, teacher, no es tampoco. Ah, pues yo dije que dos cosas que fueran ciertas para ustedes. Ah. <risa> yo le voy a decir, llévenos. Yeah. Jamás he ido en, av en avión para Guatemala, solo en carrito. Son seis orotas hasta Guatemala. ¿En carro? Ya, yeah, en carro. Desde Usulután son ocho Bye, o car. nueve. Yeah, really? Ya. Yeah. From San Salvador, they are eight hours. For Honduras, it's like two hours. Oh, really? Yeah, for Honduras. Ah, it's, it's like so close. Hours. Yeah, because we're... Honduras is so close. Yes, it's really close, like that, going up. So I just go to San Miguel, and then from San Miguel, a little bit up, and there is Honduras. Uh -huh. I have a, a friend on Citala. They Don't live. Hmm? It's close to Honduras? Yeah, it's so close. It's just in the border. But the people in Honduras, they are like, I think, yo creo que no se pararon, guys, pero they speak like Salvadorans. Really? Yeah, the Honduras, they speak like Salvadorans. In Guatemala, I never you can, was speak. In Guatemala, you can hear the difference because they speak like si sí, pues, and they speak like cantadito and like this. Va haciendo con un poquito más I, el acento mexicano, I believe. Sí, mucha. Sí, mucha. I love, I love the accent of, of the Guatemala market, del mercado. Exactly. Como el acento del mercado. Mm -hmm. So yes, but porque Guatemala tiene más Guatemala tiene más identidad cultural que el Salvador, ¿verdad? Ellos uh -huh. sí respetan su cultura, eh, hablan sus dialectos y aquí como nosotros, ¿verdad? Somos bien españoles. Ay no, qué feo hablan. So yeah, <risa> yo creo que Honduras, este este Guatemala sí tiene más identidad y Honduras habla igual que el salvadoreño. Es una cosa tan parecida oh my goodness it's like the same country cambian algunas palabritas but it's really 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 similar anyway let's continue with the class now guys to make negative state wait a second Okay, to make sentences negative statements, you're just gonna add the word not at after the verb be. So for example, this sentence, if we wanna make it negative, you're going to learn English tomorrow. I can say you not, you're not going to learn English tomorrow. Okay. So I'm gonna say, you're not gonna learn English tomorrow. Just add the not at the after the verb. Be. It's super easy, super easy. Now let's do two examples with the negative. Did you understand the activity? Yeah. Yes. Two yes. sentences in negative. Um, recuerden que tienen que utilizar el verbo to be con el going to. Hay esa oración que me acaban de mandar. I'm going to. I am. I am going to travel to Spain. Okay. Spain. Spanish is the language. Spain is the España. country. España. Ah, okay. Spain. Teacher. Mm -hmm. They, they have to be real situation or even no, real? No, no, with no, with the negatives, no importa. It doesn't matter. If they can be real or they can be unreal. It's okay. Okay.
el verbo to be siempre se me les está olvidando. I am not. I am not going. I am not going. Primero es I, luego verb to be, luego not, and then going. Solo siguen la regla. Repito, sigan la alegra. La, la regla, yo no puedo hablar yo, la regla. <ríe> okay, Stephanie, están haciendo two sentences negative. I'm not going to go to San Salvador. So ahí tenemos que agregar un, un to extra. Okay, I checked the answers and yes but remember you have to pay attention to the rule that's why we have rules here so the same rule but with not in this part not not that's the here thing here wait a second now teacher want a question Te yes tell me uh, no va a pasar assistance <gasps> Para eso lo llamé primero. Ya la pasó. La ya segunda. la pasó. Ya la pasó. Ah, ¿tú? ya la pasé, es cierto, es cierto. Estoy viendo. Que Va a pasar la, la de los 10 ya en solo. Ya se quieren ir. <risa> y adelante. <risa> yes, it's true. Ya me parece que ya la pasé. It's true. Pero bueno, gracias por recordarme. Siempre recuérdenme. Ok. Um... Estoy esperando algunos examples still. Okay. Now we're going to do and for questions is okay, I'm going to explain to you the questions, but the questions is easy, super easy. For the questions, again, you're going to open the question the verb que se tome la vacía que no se le olvide, que ya es hora, dígale. Plus subject, plus going to, plus verb. Si no le recuerdan a uno de las mamás que se tienen que tomar la pastilla, uno no se la toma a tiempo, guys. Así es esto. Ok. B, subject, going to verb, complement, and question mark. So we're going to open, miren la regla, no me vayan a estar haciendo cosas que nada que ver. You have to pay attention to the rule. So I'm going to use verb B. Are you subject going to going to verb? Are you going to travel? Complement. Puede ser un tiempo futuro. Tomorrow. Are you going to travel tomorrow? Are you going to travel tomorrow? Okay. Are you going to travel tomorrow? Y si yo quisiera preguntar, ¿a dónde vas a viajar mañana? ¿Cuál es la WH que necesito? What are, WH where? Where? I need. You, you, where? You can, where? Y la, where? Misma, la misma estructura. Solo we add, we just only add the WH word at the beginning of the sentence. So where are you going to travel tomorrow? So here, guys, with the first one, we only have two possible answers. Yes.
estoy preguntando con el verbo tuvi, entonces voy a contestar con. Yes, you are. Me están preguntando a mí. ¿Vas a viajar ah, con Miami? Yes, Miami? I am. Yes, I am. Ok. Yes, yes I, I am. ¿En the negative? No, no. I am not. No, no, I'm not. And no, here, no. in the second one, because they are doing an open question, is if they ask, where are you going to travel tomorrow? Yes, I am. Where? Okay. So in this one, we need a complete answer. So you're going to say like, I'm going, oh, sorry, going to travel, y así como Rafael, to Guatemala tomorrow, right? I'm going to travel to Guatemala. Okay. So two examples. The first one is short questions, good short answers. And the second one is an open question. Where are you gonna travel tomorrow? Do you have questions about these guys? About the questions? Sure. Do you have questions? No, no I don't have. No Perfect. So if you don't have questions, yeah. now let's go. Oh, Rafael, I'm sorry. Did you ask something? No, ahorita no van a hacer preguntas. Ahorita vamos a ir a hacer una conversation okay. sobre cosas que vamos a hacer el fin de semana. Entonces vamos a ir a crear una conversación en los break rooms. And you're going to be like, okay, hello, hi, how are you? Very good. And you? Good. Um, hey, what are you going to travel? Um, or what are you going to eat in the lunch? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat in the cafeteria. Oh, it's okay. And where are you going to eat? I am going to eat, or I'm going to eat in my office. Okay? Just like that. A simple conversation about the future or about plans that you sure. have in the weekend. Magdaleno, tell me. So sorry. I have a doubt. Uh, we have to write a Magdaleno, conversation. Primero or... que nada, cuando usted me diga teacher, no se disculpe cuando le pregunte a, y diga a Magdaleno. Siempre me dice, so sorry. No me diga so sorry. Pregúnteme. Es que... Pues yo sí, sé que es polite, pena. pero... Porque le okay. interrumpo. No. <laughs> ok. Ok. Uh, we have to write a conversation or, or is, uh, is only practicing of uh, speaking? First, you have to write a conversation. Luego voy a ir a los breakout rooms, voy a chequear la conversation y voy a hacer corrections, okay? So I'm going to make the corrections. And then you have to practice the conversation. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did everybody understand? Yes. 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 Y los que no, háganme así mínimo o háganme. Yes, teacher. Like that. Yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to make the conversations. Um, no importa si ustedes son cinco en el breakout room y la conversación es de, es de dos personas. Con tal de que la hagan y puedan practicar, that's the most important part. Luego se turnan y así sucesivamente. Don't worry, it's okay. Let me see the groups. Okay, let's go. José, José, José. 
José, hello. Jose.
die down. Vaya, entonces, ah, uh, I want to play soccer with my friends. ¿Qué más? Vas a jugar con, tu, con, con tus amigos. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, se lo puede poner, ¿verdad? All sí. right. Pero, ¿cómo se escribe all right? Right, así como se escucha, right. All right. No sé sí, que entró la tiche. No, no sé, no me di cuenta. Sí, aquí ando. No, ah, ya. Si sí, me pueden ayudar ahí a escribir, all right, porque no sé cómo se escribe. ¿Cómo? All right. Es decir, que bien. Es que en el chat estamos haciendo la conversación, dicho. Después. Ah, pero después me la van a tener que enseñar a mí. Y en el chat Ahí no la puedo ver. ver. No, no, no la puedo ver. Ah, oh, right. Thank you, teacher. Y solo están trabajando Stephanie, Sonia y Marisela. ¿Quién es más extraño? Carla y Sara. Sara. Carla medio me había comentado que un compañero, ajá. Sara. Es que no entendí muy bien a lo que escribió. Me duele la cabeza. Pero las estoy escuchando. Están, están haciendo una conversation. Sí, eso estoy escuchando. Así como al principio donde le puso la caña, eh, le va a poner su nombre, Hazel. I am not sure with the I going to travel a, a bus. I going to travel on a bus. On a bus. To my work. And you, sir, are you? And after, and you, Jose, what are you? What are you going to do tomorrow? Y en ese grupo solo que ni está participating o what? No, teacher. No, no, we... no, no. Ok, ok. We have, we have a conversation and Hazel write the Es que no le puse los nombres. But we are checking. Ah, ok. We are only checking. Um, me lleva a comer pizza. <risa> Entonces, ¿cómo dijimos? Como dijo su parte, Karen, para, para, como para unirla Vaya. con lo que dijo. We, together, como, como contestan, eh, Judy contesta, ¿verdad? We are going to eat pizza. Eh, we can go together. No sé, ahí podríamos poner. Eh, Maybe um, you can ask, where are you going to eat pizza? O where are you going? Porque dicen que comer pizza, but where? Yes. O where are we going? Sí, es que te pusimos. Lo que queremos es como que me inviten a la comida. Ah, are you going to invite me? Es que no le hemos invitado face? a Teacher. Ah, ah, ok. Es que yo estoy en el pasillo preguntando si puedo llegar. Ah, ok, ok, invitan a pues. Podría ser, I am, I am going to invite. Uh, a ver si me acuerdo cómo se pone. Ok. 
Really no. <risa> Charro que ya vino la teacher. <risa> <risa> ya escuché recording in progress. Okay. Magdalena lo hace. ¿Mm? Yo pasando iba. I don't know. Mm, Magdalena. I don't, I don't know who is the killer. I was passing by. The killer. <risa> Yo no lo sé. Yo no sé quién pues. lo mató. Ok. ¿Qué más ponemos ahí? Hello. Hey, ¿qué más? Ay, no. Yo no sé. Vaya, y si le ponemos... Lo que dijo Magdalena está bueno.
esta mañana. Uh -huh. No se puede. Ah, ok. Ajá, Ay, porque no estamos de la computadora, porque si no, sí se puede. Ajá, es que con la tablet no se puede. Ok, Tengo oh, que la Ay, le estoy arreglando. Ok, ok, ok. Eh. ¿Qué le va lo que a puedo hacer es mandarle, tomarle captura a lo que tenemos ahorita y enseñárselo eh, compartiéndose. No, mejor termínenlo, termínenlo, termínenlo. Ajá. Sí, es que como no tenemos ninguna que tenga computadora, entonces no está ah, costando. Ok, that's a problem. Vaya, y después de... Ahí se va a compartir la, la foto. Yes, una así de conversación. Sí, ahorita lo estoy esperando. Vale. Pero tenía de cabeza. Va. Mira, no sé si se ve y se entiende. Where are you going to tomorrow? On the hola, bus. Hola. On the bus to my work. On the bus. No. I'm going. Ah, pero esa fue una pregunta, no fue una conversación. Eso lo fue sí, una pregunta. Que, uh -huh, que ni se puso, preguntó y todos estábamos opinando qué era lo que íbamos a hacer. Uh, Ajá, y no sé, ahorita estaban ellas, este, pero en negativo. ¿Podrían no. agregarle para que de verdad parezca una conversación? Que mm -hmm. Hazel al final le pregunta, ¿En what are you going to do tomorrow, Kenia? Oh, I'm going to do this. Para que parezca que sí están conversando, porque ahí solo tienen una intervención cada una quien. Pregunta, ¿Cómo agregarle una pregunta? Y que y Kenia conteste al final, como yo voy a hacer esto, porque Kenia no me está diciendo ahí uh -huh. qué va a hacer. Entonces no parece una conversation. Uh -huh. Y donde está lo de José, dice, I'm going to wash motorcycle. No sería, I'm going to wash my motorcycle. My motorcycle. Ah, me comí el my. <risa> Y también nos dice Hazel, I'm going to drive my car. Ese A está de más. My car. Yes, ok. Ok. Drive Corrijamos. my car in the traffic. Ok. Corrijamos esas cositas, please. Mm -hmm. Y me le añaden la otra pregunta que les comento para que parezca de verdad en la conversación. Mm -hmm. Y después decimos uh, como nos ponemos de acuerdo y, de, y decimos la parte final, ¿verdad? It seems to me... Ok, pero... Hasta ahí, it seems to me. ¿Y para despedir? Solo decimos... ¿Qué me quieren decir con ese it seems to me? Me Como, parece. ¿Me parece bien? Oh. Mm, me parece bien, en inglés no tiene una traducción literal como it seems to me, sino que dicen así, miren, sounds good, o oh, no, pero en es con ese. Sounds good, like that. Sounds good. Mm. Ok, la vamos a cambiar. Voy a revisar lo demás. I'm fine, thank you. Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, I am. How you doing, Karen? How are you? We are fine. Where are you going to eat tomorrow? We're going to eat pizza. I'm going to invite me. ¿Me voy a invitar yo sola o te invitar a mí? No, ahí no me equivocaba. Ahí, ahí sería, I am, I am going ahí, to invite Carla. Oh, I'm going to invite Carla. Sounds good. Okay, excellent. Y luego sería, sounds so good, see you tomorrow, goodbye. Excellent, correct. Arreglemos eso nada más. Ah, sí, sounds good. Ok, teacher, thank you. Muy doctor. Ok. Entonces, ella contesta, ah, ok. Corrijamos la primera parte. Hi, María, long time no see. Ese you está de más. 
Ah, no, 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 sí. Hey, it's great. It's great. Necesitamos okay, siempre eso. It's se lo great. To see you again. What do you do? I am working in Havana. Really? It's perfect. Do you travel often? Yes, I do. I'm going to fly to Havana tomorrow. I've always dreamed to travel a lot. Your work is wonderful. Yet it is wonderful. Okay, I have to prepare my documents. Ahí lugar, en lugar de decir I have to prepare my documents, utilizamos el ING porque eso es lo que estamos viendo y digan I am going to prepare my documents para que tenga sentido con mm. el going to porque no veo mucho going to. Okay. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Going to. Prepare my document. Hello, Sara, what happened? No, es que estoy intentando entrar de la compu para ver si copio, pero creo ah. que no puedo ver el chat, ¿verdad? Pero no lo veo, ¿verdad? Sí, ya. Pero se puede mandar la captura, usted, y la comparte desde la compu. Ah. O sea, ah. se toma la, compu toma la captura con el celular y la manda a la compu, ¿no? Sí, solo que no cabe toda la conversación. Ah, o puede mandar, bueno. Quería copiar y pegar. Sí, o copiarle en un slide y pegarlas. Uh -huh. Ajá. Pero verdad que si entro ahorita desde la otra, no puedo. No, no, va, a ver la, no, no va a ver el chat. Ay. Pero igual la voy a mandar. ¿En qué grupo es? A ver. Eh, no, eso no Pero, a saber si puedo estar de los dos, ¿verdad? Sí, no hay problema. Me dice que.
Hello. Hello, teacher. We're gonna go with the attendance, guys. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, when we start the class tomorrow, we're gonna go uh, with the conversations that you made today. So you're gonna role play the conversations, okay? Okay. Role teacher. play, role play. When we start the class, anyways. Ana Gladys Moraga Rodriguez. Beatricia Milet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. I'm here. Hazel Ruth Merara Rivera. I'm here. It is Joana Cañas Morales. José Arnoldo Corea Jovel. I'm here. Carla Patricia Pineda López. Katia Gabriel Hernández García. I'm here. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. I am here. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. I'm here, teacher. Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. I'm here, teacher. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Sara Ivette González García. I'm here. Um, Sonia Janet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Elaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Ivette Ramírez Castillo. Sí. I'm here. Judy Araceli Coyar de Hernández. I'm here. Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. I'm here. Luisa Donay Aguilar Merino. Ok, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Recuerden que mañana es el último día para enviar notas. Entonces la plataforma tiene que estar finalizada hasta la tarea 5 mínimo. Ok. No quiero retrasos ahí con nadie y comenten en la plataforma. Me quedo ahora con Judy. Ok. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. 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 B
Cuando tengo una duda se la hago saber. Pero ahorita estoy tranquila. Ah, He okay. entendido muy bien los temas. En, ¿Y entienden cómo estoy hablando? In, ¿More in English? ¿Do you understand what I say? More. Que si entiende cómo estoy hablando más en inglés. I'm speaking more in English. But do you understand? Ah, como, yes. Hay palabras que sí ya las conozco. Entonces no se me... Como que uno todo ya se me hace más fácil entender. Pero no ha sentido difícil ese cambio que ahora ya hay más English. No. No, oh, ok, perfect. No, Porque no, ya demasiado. el siguiente va a ser más, o sea, el siguiente va a ser muchísimo más. Y en el 6, módulo 6 y el 1 principiante, uno intermedio, ahí sí ya es full English. Ok, sí. Okay. Solo practicar, ¿verdad? Practice, that's, that's the clue. Pero usted ha avanzado bastante, yo he visto que ha avanzado bastante, así que no se desmotive, no se vaya, porque ahorita va bien. Para nada. Entonces, en enero, que vuelvan los grupos, inscríbase, porque si una vez pierde el ritmo, Judy, bye. No, no espero no perderlo, a pesar que estos días me ha tocado súper pesado, porque la temporada fuerte del licor de nosotros, entonces, súper más la graduación de mí, un montón de cosas, entonces, sí, sí, pero sí. ahí vamos, le vamos a echar ganas. Lo bueno es que ya vamos a entrar en un break y volvemos a mediados finales de enero. Sí. Ok. okay. Perfect. Pero todo bien, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Ok, uh, Judy, I will see you tomorrow, ok? Ok, teacher, see you tomorrow. Have a good bye night. Bye. bye bye. Good night. Y congratulations bye to bye. your son. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Thank you. 